Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and in this video I am just going to take you along as we get ready for Christmas. I shared a couple Christmas type videos here showing you guys me decorating the house and also me making some homemade Christmas gifts but as always the week before Christmas there's always just a few more things that need to get done before the actual day gets here. So one of those things for me was I wanted to decorate my china cabinet. That was something that I had on my list. I had envisioned these little reefs hanging on there and kind of switching out the china in there for some different red or more festive china and I actually had my eye open a few times while I was out just shopping and looking around and I could not find what I wanted for that spot so that area did not get decorated until a little bit later after I had the rest of the house decorated so I found these little reefs at Target it. and with just one of the wreaths it felt way too thin and just not enough to it so I decided to put two of the wreaths together tie around some of the ribbon that I also have around my tree to hang on the china cabinet I just love the look of the reefs hanging there I think it looks really elegant and festive for the inside I had dreamed up finding some vintage or some antique type plates and things at like some secondhand stores and I wasn't able to find what I wanted so instead I just took out all of the blue and colored dishes that were in there for the spring and summer and I just replaced it with anything white and red that I already had in the home. I really like the way that it turned out and now that it's done for this year I might look for some different dishes for next year but I like the way that it looks this year and obviously it's nice because it was completely free I just had all this stuff on hand. The week of Christmas I like to make Christmas cookies and hot chocolate with the kids. We enjoy watching some different Christmas movies in the evening, sitting in front of the fire with the Christmas tree lights on. It's just such a cozy, beautiful time of year. With it getting dark earlier, we have more time inside as a family after all the chores are done. And so we will bake some cookies and make some hot chocolate and cuddle up to watch some movies on the couch. So. This year we made some paleo orange Christmas cookies. I have this recipe on my blog and I'll link that down below for you. It's a very simple recipe using dried cranberry and some juice from a fresh orange. It has that really delicious Christmas flavor. After we had the cookies done, the kids were begging for some hot chocolate. For the hot chocolate, I just used some raw milk from my sister's farm. I add in a little bit of coconut sugar, a little bit of cocoa powder, and then I just whisk it all up. And then I like to add in just a drop of peppermint essential oil. I just love that mint chocolate flavor, especially this time of year. Every year, my sister and I, with a friend, 
take a whole day to go Christmas shopping. Something we have been doing for over five years. I love it because I come with a list of everything that I need and I knock out all of my shopping in one day. So this year I had Benjamin along with me because he's still pretty little and nurses a lot so he got to come along. But without the other kids I was able to get all of the last minute gifts that I needed for everybody on the list. Now I've showed you before that I like to make a lot of homemade gifts and so and bath salts and bath bombs and things. And that's more for the adults on my list, but for my kids and also for some of the, my nieces and nephews, I like to get them toys and just little things that they want. So that kind of thing I have to get from the store. So a lot of things that day I'm getting are toys and then maybe a few stocking stuffers and things to go along with some of the homemade things that I made for the adults on my list. Now in this new house, we do not have a great place to hide gifts before. I used to put that down in my basement, but now in this home, we use our basement because it's finished and it's a walkout. So the kids are kind of all throughout the house. And so there wasn't really a great place to hide anything. And so the second that I got home from shopping, I did all of my Christmas wrapping. Thought if I wanted to be sure that the kids weren't seeing any of their gifts, I was just gonna have to wrap everything right away. So I just sat by the tree, I turned the fire on, it just sat there, I put a show on the TV and just kind of listened to the show play while I wrapped presents. It was actually really fun. It was kind of a relaxing night. The kids were sleeping and it was a good time just to get everything wrapped and under the tree. One of the last things that I do, and usually this is on Christmas night, is I fill the kids stockings. So we do a couple of different Christmas things with my side of the family, with my husband's side of the family. But on Christmas morning, the kids wake up, they have some little things and gifts and whatnot in their stockings. And we just, after breakfast, we sit down and I let them just open up their stockings. That's kind of their gifts that they get from us. So while I was shopping, I look for things that are little that can go inside of their stockings. Um, usually it's a lot of maybe like a new toothbrush or some pen and paper for school, but then also just a few little fun toys and things that I know that they will enjoy. After I get the stockings filled, I don't rehang them on the fireplace because they wouldn't hang up anymore because they're heavy. And I just set them down against the mantle. And then in the morning on Christmas, they get to come out. And once we're all out, they can go through their stockings and see all the fun things that they got. Now on Christmas morning, I don't wanna spend my day in the kitchen. And so I love making a make ahead breakfast casserole that can be done where all I have to do is just warm it up or bake it and then it's ready to go. So this Christmas I made a couple loaves of homemade sourdough bread with my sourdough starter. I actually have a recipe for this on my blog so I will share that down below for you. Once the bread was all made, I baked it and then I cut it up into small pieces to make a French toast casserole. Now for this casserole, I made it just like I would a normal French toast casserole, with the milk and the eggs and the brown sugar, which I use coconut sugar for, and cinnamon. But I added in some 
fresh cranberries and some orange just to give it that fun Christmas festive flavor. Then I just placed it in the refrigerator and then on Christmas morning, I just have to take the pan out of the oven and bake it and then breakfast is ready because on Christmas morning, I love watching my kids get so excited about the little things that are in their stockings and just enjoying a nice, cozy, comfy day at home with the kids. And then um, I don't wanna, like I said, I don't wanna be in the kitchen having to cook and all that. So having breakfast ready is just a tradition and something that we like to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.